What's up everybody? Thanks for joining me on another VSG vlog. Today we're going to the doctor's appointment. Join me. Good morning. Today we're about to go to our first appointment for the VSG surgery. So this appointment is a stress test appointment and they're going to do two tests. I'm supposed to wear comfortable stuff. I'm going to be on a like a bike and they're going to One thing about Georgia, they got some non-drivers. They got some of the best non-drivers out there. So, <clears throat> excuse me, it's super early, but we are pulling into the place. And I'm going to let you guys come in with me, see what y'all can see. And then we'll go over some more stuff after we leave out the appointment. So today's appointment is my very first appointment in the VSG process. Some doctors have different requirements. This doctor wanted me to have my heart checked and he wanted me to do blood work to make sure that I was healthy enough for surgery. I always hate going to the doctor's office no matter what type of doctor it is, but my first impressions was definitely a five out of five. The office is clean, it smells nice. There's a nice display here full of products, which I'm assuming is bariatric products. I didn't have to wait long before I was called back. As soon as I walked in the back, I saw this piece of fat and I couldn't help but jiggle it. This nice young lady called me back and she led me to this room. She told me to have a seat and she gave me this blue thing that looked like a bag, but it's actually like a top or a crop top. Even though I look really excited, I'm kind of nervous. So I removed my sweater. I put on this blue contraption that she gave me and I'm just waiting on her to come back in the room. But while I'm waiting, I decided to get some footage for you guys to see. This is the equipment that will be used for her to do the ultrasound of my heart. And it's a pretty straightforward process. So I got up on the table, I laid on my side. She then put the gel on her wand. From there, she rubbed the wand on my chest and that yielded results in her computer that she can share with the doctor. This will let the doctor know if it's safe to perform surgery on me. It seems like that test went by really fast, maybe 15 minutes, no more than 20 minutes. The lady was really nice and we were able to chat and make small talk, so it didn't really seem like it took that long at all. Now it's time to do the second test. Sometimes the stress tests are done with a treadmill. In other doctor's offices, they will use a bike. It yields the same results. First, the technician will clean off the area of skin with some alcohol pads. Then they'll take the electrodes or the little patches right here and they'll affix them or attach them. Then it seems like you're all wired up, but they'll attach one more thing and it's this blue thing on your finger. They also gave me these nose plugs because they want to test my lungs and my heart and they want to make sure that my nose is closed and that they're getting the right results from my lungs. To sum up this test, I'm basically breathing in and out at different rates and different paces, but I'll give you a few seconds to read this. They do two different tests so that way they can get a comprehensive view of the heart and any issues that it may have. So the first test, which was an ultrasound test, was able to show any abnormalities or anything that's wrong, you know, on the outside. But this test will also look at other things that that ultrasound cannot see. Initially, the technician told me to breathe at a normal rate, take in a deep breath, blow it out until I couldn't blow anymore. And then we did some other breathing type of exercises where I had to kind of breathe like I was having a panic attack or an asthma attack so they could actually get a comprehensive look at all the results. So now we're getting into the meat and potatoes of this. They put this mask on me and it kind of resembles my sleep apnea mask. And they're going to attach a hose to it and that hose will measure other parts of my heart and, you know, relay information back to the computer about my heart and the results. For the first two minutes, it's very normal. It doesn't feel like an incline. It doesn't really feel like much. You're just pedaling like a bike. 
After the first two minutes, you will start to feel some resistance or an incline. Not much, but you'll start to feel something. The technician told me that I had to keep the number on the bike at 60. The number was not 60 miles per hour. I believe it was 60. I gotta, I gotta look and see exactly what it was, but it's something specific to that actual machine. So I tried my best to keep it around 61 or 62. And I think I did that for what felt about like 10 minutes or so as you can see on the left the technician is taking my blood pressure as i continuously pedal i'm over here thinking about lunch and barbecue ribs i really wish they would hurry up with this <laughs> But no, seriously, I did this for about maybe 15 minutes and it wasn't that long, but after a while, you can definitely feel the resistance and you can definitely start to feel it heating up. So let's talk about the cost. If you have insurance, you may pay little to nothing. If you don't have insurance or if you have insurance, but you decide that you want to take care of this cost out of pocket, you'll be looking at around anywhere from $600 on up. I paid about $700 and the reason I paid this out of pocket is because I didn't want to get insurance involved. The reason I didn't want insurance involved is they do have you jump through a bunch of hoops and hurdles before they decide that they're going to pay for it. So let's say your doctor today approves that you know you are a good candidate for this type of procedure or surgery well now you probably have to wait a minimum of six months just for your insurance company to even consider you know moving forward meaning you have to go through some psychiatrist visits you have to go through some nutritional visits and you have to go through a few different hoops and hurdles before they fully sign off approve and cut the check to the doctor but with me doing this out of pocket on my own, I'm able to cut out all that middleman business and I'm able to get straight to the point and straight to the surgery. So the countdown is on. The surgery is so real and it's really about to happen. So we are about 22 days away from surgery and I'm excited yet nervous. And I'm really grateful that I have you guys to come along with me on this journey and cheer me on and, and root and wish me well and I'm really really happy about that because a lot of people don't have that support so I genuinely thank you guys and I want you guys to hit the like button and the subscribe button so that way you will be notified about all the videos and as I mentioned the next upcoming video will be some of the doctor's paperwork so I can get prepared for the surgery so thank you guys so much for watching and coming to my appointment with me and I will see you guys on the next VSG video Bye.